Received FSD beta on Saturday night, took a drive on Sunday, covered 80 miles, and probably 52 of those miles were non-highway miles. First impressions are, I'm blown away. Is it perfect? By no stretch of the imagination. But watching all the other FSD beta 12 videos over the last couple weeks, it's still hard to really convey how much smoother and refined 12 is over previous versions. Coming to stops at stop signs and stoplights is just so human-like and smooth. Acceleration out of those, again, just so nice. Left and right turns are smooth. The steering wheel's not jerking around. This is very exciting for the future of FSD beta. Feels like we're still early days on the neural networks, but I can only imagine in the next 12 to 18 months how much better FSD beta is going to be. It really is a seminal change in the architecture and the future of full self-driving. First drive in 12.3, it received it Saturday night. It's now Sunday afternoon. We're gonna take it for a, a kind of a good spin. Use the timestamps to jump around to find things of interest. I'm going to disengage because I didn't think it's going to go over slow enough over these railroad tracks. I like to hit them five or six miles an hour because they're very bumpy. Hopefully there's going to be a way to set some kind of a local rule about how fast you're going to go over certain things because not all railroad tracks are the same. It wasn't until I reviewed the video that I realized that Tesla did not put on its turn signal. However, it will take its turn, accelerate nicely, and make a good smooth left turn have exited the highway, up here we'll be making a right turn, has a right green arrow, so it'll be a continuous right turn. There's a car coming from the left that'll be coming parallel with us. Maybe my car sees it because it needs to go over several lanes, but look in my screen, there's a car right behind me. My car starts to slow down. I can see him in my mirror. I hit the accelerator because I thought he might rear end me. Not sure what to make of this, where the problem was, but, this was one I kind of felt like we were lucky to get out without any incident. On the way home, we're going to pull into a random business to see if the car can get into the parking lot and perhaps park itself. So let's see what happens. Uh, yes. Yes, there it is. Okay. All right, so now this is auto car complete. Now let's see if it can pull in and find a parking spot. I've seen it do that for other people. Let's just see what happens. I've seen other where it just kind of circles around the uh, parking lot aimlessly. <laughs> uh, still. Still wants to go. Let's give it a second and see what happens. Nobody behind us, so. I'm just going to just abandon us here in the. <laughs> it's like, we're here, what do you want to do? <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's put our next waypoint in. So now let's see if we can get it out of the parking lot. Some people here on the left that we'll have to be mindful of. Good, giving them space. Nice, okay. Creeping pretty slow through the parking lot, better than fast, but slower than I would be driving as a human. Nobody behind us, so we can just let it go at speed. Hey, a Longhorn is quite busy this time of day <laughs> yeah. for four or three on a Sunday. Yeah. But definitely, I'd rather go slower than faster through these parking lots because in the version 11, it'd be going very fast in this parking lot, I think. I'm gonna go 
right turn out of here. I only make a right turn because of the island. Now we've got cars coming. It probably lost its chance to go. So we've got three cars. Pretty light Sunday afternoon traffic. And after this, we should go. Here. I think it's just going to stop. Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, you got us here though, so. It did. We got the lot with the steering wheel. Okay. Now I'll have an unprotected left out of here. Sunday afternoon, not a lot of traffic. As I say that, a bunch of cars are coming from the left. And I guess the right. Probably should creep up a little bit more. Got the creep line. Alright, good. It's going to go. Nice. Oh, really nice. Okay. Oh, Bicyclist up here. Uh... On this narrow, unmarked road, the car did a great job of staying to the right all the time. So this was a big improvement over how V11, I think, handled these types of roads. Another car coming, a truck this time. So a really nice improvement here on version 12. Amazon van up here. Right. Nice, okay. Very nice. This turn is 75% of the time jerky, stuttering. So nice. Watch to the left, see how humans handle stop signs. Nitz is going to get you, buddy. That was a California stop there. Yeah. Okay, so this is one where this in previous versions it really got tripped. I mean, not tripped up, but it just struggled here. I got a one wheeler. It would just, especially with other cars here, it would just freak out. It just could not go anywhere. That's much better. Disengage these railroad tracks again. I have to go with these like five or six miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, 18s, I mean, for a lot of people, but I don't like going over that fast. Oh, the car's over, they get that slow. Hesitant there for some reason. 
And this is one where it's got to creep out quite a ways to see. Maybe now we can see left and right. Let's see. All right, good. This is a big one. This was where the car always took off before I was convinced that it could see. So this will be very interesting. It's got to creep up way far here to see. It still can't see left or right. Now it can, now it can see. Perfect. Awesome. This is what it says never once done before and it just did it. That's fantastic. Let's see if we can go two for two. Again, before version 12, it's never once successfully, in my mind, completed this. It could never creep up far enough to see. It's got to creep up way far. It still can't see. Can't see right either. I don't... Okay, now it can see. Perfect. That's exactly what it needed to do. Two for two. Perfection. That's... Oh, I'm so happy about that. To see the improvement in V12, let's roll back in time and see how this was handled on version 11. Every single time it failed. It has to creep up. It cannot see. There's no way. I can't even see. So it's got to creep up to this line and stop. And there it's going for it again. There's no... I, I can't see if anybody's coming. I can't believe that it's going to stop there. Let's back up. Again, it can It just simply cannot take off because there's no way it can see. And I gotta press it. I gotta press the brake because I'm assuming it's going to just keep going. I I can't. Like again, there. I can't. I can't see in time and assume that there's nobody coming. Okay, third time we'll stop here unless it does it correctly, which I don't think it's going to again. I see the creep line. I'm gonna stop. I can't. I can't see. There was a car coming from the right. Would have made it in time. There's nobody coming from the left. By the time it's pulling out, I can't have the reaction time to look left to see if there's a car coming or not. So that this is a massive fail here. Okay, so about here is probably where it's going to take off. So let's put it in service mode. Let's look at the camera preview. You can see there. How about right pillar? You can see there so let's back up and reset okay so about now it should be able to see left and right about here that car's coming from the left so going to wait oh, it's kind of like uh, yeah, it kind of hesitated there it might have still made it, but I pushed the accelerator, so a little disappointing there that it hesitated that much. I've been testing this left up here for several years now, I think, at least. Difficult left because it has a curvy downhill road that on the left is blocked by a bunch of shrubbery. The stop sign's way back here. You have to creep up to the actual line of the road, and it was doing it fairly well on 11 sometimes. Perfect. So to come out to here and commit great all right that's exactly what it needs to do It'd be great if we could get some traffic to um, challenge it but let's go back around for one more pass one thing that's a little bit odd if somebody were following me behind me is this is how a human would drive this is they would not stop at this stop sign up here because you know locally you have to go way up and stop so you would never as a human stop here and then proceed up and go you either you probably don't even stop here at all you just go up to the right and look if you're going right if you're going left you come all the way up here blow through that stop sign you would stop like right here car from the left car from the right it's got to wait got a car from the right coming i just want to go just commits fine no problem perfect so that was good so let's move on to our next challenge let cars to pass on the right and make this left so let's see if we can get over far enough left See, it's still a little too much centered here. It needs to be further over to the left. But that's a good smooth turn, which in the past has always struggled with that. So this is the granddaddy of all my tests. I think this is the one that's probably the hardest to solve. It's got to make this left, get into one lane over into a turn lane to the right. It has to creep way up. It's got a building to the left, row trees to the right. 
no traffic today. This is a weekend, so I need a really good weekday. But just as a preview, it's got to come out here, get into this lane. Simple, that's as good as it's ever done. Like, I'm always happy when I can do just that with no traffic, no hesitation. The problem is you got cars stacked up here. So unfortunately, it's a Sunday and we need some traffic to really test this out because behind me, you'll get three cars lined up behind me. They'll leave a gap and they might leave a gap for you to shoot in from that side road. And as a human driver, you can maybe angle out to the right and then back to the left and fit yourself in there. And that's what this car will need to do eventually. And I think it can learn to do it. This might be a good scenario here. Let's see. Come on, cars, get up here and get to it. Got a couple cars lined up here. Good for the light. I need to creep up. Now, if I can get behind this SUV up here, that's all I want to do is creep up and get behind this SUV. Come on, super light changes. You got to get up. You got to creep up here. We can't see yet. We're wasting time. We'll be aggravating people if they were behind us. Come on, let's go. You can see, come on, get behind this SUV. That's all I want you to do. Nice, nice. The guy's moving up for me. I don't think it's ever really done it that smoothly or that good on V11, so. I'm not sure what else I could have asked of it. It could probably move itself up a little bit further I am blocking the left lane, so if somebody wants to come up behind me, they have to go around me to get in this left turn lane, so that's probably not ideal. I'm gonna nudge the car a little bit up. See, that would give a little bit more room for somebody to get by me on the left. Good, good. Good, good, good. Great, right, now we'll get the unprotected left, which is what I want to test here. It needs to start creeping out into the intersection. This is a very sharp turn to the left. That's gonna start moving. Good and smooth, two for two on those. I'd like to see it creeped out in the intersection more, but. All right, maybe I'll get lucky and get a couple cars stacked up here. There's a police car. He's gonna follow the police car out. Get right behind it. Nice. That was good. Again, the difficulty here is going to be when I got a couple cars stacked up. I am sticking out my tail a little bit into the lane maybe. But the cars can get by me though. So this is encouraging. I've never had three successful attempts like this in a row. A good smooth right turn. This is a very sharp right turn. Very nice, very nice. This is all very encouraging. Coming up is another local knowledge where there's really two lanes here. There's nothing pinned on the road. In the past with 11, I have got it to be stay left. I don't know if those have been flukes. Let's see what V12 can do if it can actually stay left. So let these people stay on my right. So yeah, staying left, giving room to the right for people to pass through and make that right on red, so very nice. I'm hoping that is solved, that it just was not a fluke, but all indications seem to be that that is expected behavior now.